Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you another video of how to do a chart both in Excel and Power BI. So this time is a funnel chart. So I did have a video on how to do a funnel chart in Excel uh, for recruitment or sales purpose. Um, and as you see, it takes me about 10 minutes to do uh, because it's not a chart type that's readily available in Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to do that in Power BI in 10 seconds. So, okay, so now uh, this is the file that I used for Excel, uh, for the Excel version. I'm just going to use the data here. Um, and this is the data I had for my uh, Excel version. I don't need that many for my uh, Power BI data version anymore. So I think the only thing I might need are the steps, um, the hat counts, and uh, the selection ratio. So let me paste that uh, data into a new Power BI file where for my simplicity, I'm just going to enter data here. Click on a, uh, column one, paste in your data, rename it or whatever, load into it. And you can see the data is loaded right in here. Uh, and then this is the funnel chart type that you need to select. You select it and it's going to be like this. Um, you basically drag your steps in here and then say drag your head count. And then here we go. That's pretty much what you need. Like you just need to make sure you put the chart where you can show all the all your steps um, and also show all your numbers. So this is how you can do it with the hat count. You can actually also do the same chart, but with the selection ratio, because you see now it's showing the hat count here. Um, it's going to be the same thing if you want to show the selection ratio. So it's going to be uh, put the steps into the groups and the selection ratio into the value. And then you can see it's pretty much the same thing. Um, well, it's exactly the same thing. And then let's say I want to change it into a percent format. What you can do is go to the selection ratio. It's going to show the column, the formatting, and then just make sure you select uh, percent as format. And then let's say I just want one decimal space. And then there you go. Um, an alternative way to do that, let's say if you want to show it in both, what you can do is that let's say our head count is showing on the screen. I can also choose to put my selection ratio into the two tip. Note that in the two tip, note that it doesn't change your chart at all. But then when you point to any given item, you can see the selection ratio is in the black box is in the black box. It's the last item in the black dot box, which is the two tip. So that way, uh, when you demonstrate this to your clients, they can still see the selection ratio. And let's say if you don't want to show it like this, you still want to show both the head count um, and the selection ratio in the same chart. Um, you a work around is that you can actually do the same thing as what I did in uh, Excel, which is uh, have your Let's say you want to show selection ratio in your chart and you can show your head count in the header. Then you basically copy this data and then let's say enter our data in here so that you have your head count in the header, but you also have your selection and then load in the data. Yeah, so in this one, let's say we create a new um, funnel chart where you have uh, the headers as the group, and then you have the selection ratio as your value. And then make sure you format your selection value properly. So then here you would have exactly the same thing as what we had in Excel, which is you have the head count in your headers and you have your selection ratio in the chart. And that's it. Okay, so that's everything I wanna share with you today. I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.